it's time to decide who takes home that third place prize. Will it be EU, oh boy, or will it be NA, Bonks? These are both the second place teams from their servers fighting it out for that third place. Uh, with oh boy here in red, we have Republic, Shikishima, Des Moines, Double Moskva, Stalingrad, Gearing, and Double Marceau. And for NA from Bonks. Opposing them in the green spawn from the north. Bonks bringing Ohio, Yamato, Triple Venezia, Moskva, Gearing, Zevity 2, and Shimikaze. I feel like we've seen this lineup before. Yeah, and I, I wonder whether we'll end up in that situation with uh, uh, whale biologist and, uh, and a French destroyer, <laughs> you know, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which was actually kind of uh, exciting last time. So, it, was, uh, it was different, that's for sure. Yeah, but this will we'll, be interesting. We'll we've we've seen both of these teams play this map with their respective lineups, but obviously not playing each other. I commented last time. I, I you know you don't normally see Republic um, in this map. You don't normally see both battleships go to the same side of this map, and we see oh boy, that's that's how they line this up, right? So I'm really curious to see kind of how Bonks uh, does or doesn't adapt to to what they're about to deal with. Yeah, and remember, when you see Shikishima in the central position, so I'd imagine the Shikishima is going to stay roughly where it is right now, maybe a bit further forward, that that Shiki can actually drop shots all the way over. I mean, you saw that 28.5 kilometer shot on the Des Moines in the last match can easily uh, drop shots over here into Charlie. And uh, if it's the Moskva of Azuki who ends up sitting in that position, that Moskva is potentially going to get broadsided by the Shikishima. So don't let this, uh, this sort of one-sided battleship uh, deployment fool you. They can definitely hit both sides of the map. Absolutely. Oh, boys. Um, Marceau tag team quickly into A. They'll pick that up momentarily. Whale Biologist Z52 nosing into the top end of the B cap. He'll pick that up, I believe. I don't believe even if they radar him. Well, Reunited won't have shots, but if they want to burn a radar, they might could drop shiki shells or something like that on him just to reset him. And B is going to be a little more interesting because... You know, B is, I'm going to say C. C is kind of where Bonks more or less kind of won the match the other day, it felt like, right? They put so much pressure on that Stalingrad that Rain had on this flank. Um, they were able to to punch out uh, Lulu's Des Moines over here. We see almost the exact same kind of a setup here from Oboy, the gearing the Des Moines going super wide, the Russian cruiser tucking up under the island closer to the cap. Yeah, indeed. Um, totally balanced pretty much in the same position that Lulu was in. Uh, and so they're definitely going to have to watch out for Bonks doing the same thing, pushing that Ohio down through this gap, kind of in a surprise. I mean, we were all surprised by that move, um, pushing the Ohio into the B cap. So um, that doesn't look like the current plan, but we'll keep an eye on Hattie, uh, see whether they're going to push it to C or push it to B. Hattie's got, his, B. Hattie's got his spotter up looking for a shot, but he doesn't really have... Great vision. He can see the Shiki de Moskva and the Republic over on the eastern, sorry, the western flank, but doesn't seem to have a good line of a line of a fire to take that shot. No, I'm I'm guessing they were hoping that maybe the Z from the middle or um maybe the Shima would spot something like the Moskva. Um Yeah, just a I think a, a spot a plane of opportunity really. Okay, gearing of Battleship Nagato, just getting into position to reverse. You'll often see destroyers do this. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, like, why do you always see the destroyers go backwards like this? They usually like do this touch-and-go thing where they'll use the island to stop and then they'll reverse back in. And the reason for that is that you don't want to be nose into a cap if you're going to be radared. Because that means that you have to pretty much just deal with it face on and you have no option to run away. Whereas if you, uh, if you reverse in like this... When Horny Wiki radars, Battleship Nagato can just take off forward and, and get behind the island. So you'll often see destroyers taking this approach. So watch what happens if Horny Wiki radars, which may not happen just yet, because it's only Horny Wiki that can actually shoot right now. Well, they, they will want to get the reset at some point. Yeah, but we've seen Oboy oh hold their radars from when you might expect. They're like, oh, you know, uh, in, in a random battle, for example, you would pop that radar immediately, try to find the guy, get him reset, drive him off the cap. But in competitive play, there there's the radar finally coming up now. But they'll they'll time this a little differently to, for maximum pop pain or you know the ability to get angles because Nagato doesn't probably doesn't realize that Ender and exactly. Totally Balanced are over there. Yeah, they were definitely holding that for as long as possible to see if Endon would be able to get a little angle around this island. 
Um, but uh, ultimately, they definitely want to drive the destroyer off the cap. Okay, Marceau in the middle. Marcelo has pushed into B. And it's taking Whoa! two torps from two Whale Biologist. Torps. That's a big hit. That's a huge hit from Whale um, Biologist. Also, within the Hydro of Whale Biologist. He's so, locked up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's have a look at their view. Yeah, Whale Biologist is not spotted. Stalingrad currently not radaring. I suspect that radar is currently on cooldown, so Marcelo is going to be lucky to get out of here with the ship. Brilliant torpedo salvo from Whale Biologist. He does finally drop off the Hydro. Marcelo no sneaks away on 2400 HP. Yeah, no shells in the air. Marcelo is uh, currently safe, but that is not good for Oboy oh because they really need that destroyer in there to contest that cap. And one more exchange, one more spot. And I suspect this Marceau will be now, down. Now, Reunited is right here. He's waiting for the he's waiting for Whale to step onto the cap. There it is. His teammate will now tell him, "Oh, cap's contested." I'm waiting for Reunited to pop that radar. I'm I'm sh certainly he's got one available. Actually, the Moscow pops. So that was Azuki. Yeah, that was Azuki's radar from over at sea. They're trying to they're trying to catch Marcelo. There's the Stalingrad radar from Reunited. There we go. So now now everybody will be shooting at Marcelo. Ohio bad dispersion, but perfect shot. Unfortunately, um, oh, whale biologist, biologist may be the one to get here. the kill. Yeah, he's paying for this, but hopefully. For Bonks, this will be a kill on Marcelo before it disappears around the island. Oh, they're going to lose him, I think. He's going to go away on 1,500 HP. Yeah, Whale Biller just actually paying for that quite dearly yeah. to only take off yeah. a few hundred hit points. Yeah, Although, Marceau... Like... Hang on, hang on. Marceau is once again stopping in front of the Zedville Torps. I don't think he's in danger. As long no, as he keeps he going. No, he's fine. There. He's fine. Those went by the Southern Grad. Those have been yep. spotted. Yeah, I, I think their failure to convert that kill is going to come back to haunt them. Quite possibly. We'll, Absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll find out. Shikishima Eternal Titan has pushed up, um, which, at the moment at least, rules out any possibility of shooting over towards Charlie, although there aren't really any targets over there right now. Uh, Eternal Titan instead aiming up towards the north of the ACAP. Todd Howard's converting the ACAP from red to green, although pink camouflage will push in. Pink taking some chip damage there from the, the dual Venezia is over on the one two line. Nothing catastrophic. He took about two or three thousand. You would you would you always hope for more with the Venezia, but you didn't get it that time as Addy takes a huge full pin or something through the bow because Republic doesn't really care about your armor with those 431s. Yeah, Addy's in kind of a nasty position here between the Shikishima, who is definitely aiming that way, and the Ooh. Republic, who's obviously... Todd, Todd is in a bit of a pickle, too, if he's he's not careful. Okay, Pink Camouflage looks like he might go around the corner and try to just run him down. Seems to have declined that for the moment. Yeah, I think that in front of two Venezias, that would be a risky proposition. That would definitely end up being a trade. Um, but um, let's not rule that out just yet, because they may end hey. up needing to take out that Shimakaze. Eight and a half minutes gone. Bonk's the only ones ticking up points right now. They managed to retain control of B while contesting A. And after all this time, still nobody owns C. We haven't really looked over here in a while, but Battleship Nagato down quite a bit of HP. Obviously, he and Horny Wookie have been trading shells, or at least Wookie's been pushing him back off the cap. Yeah, Battleship Nagato is in a nasty position with these two uh, ships just here, the Des Moines and the Gearing, because that means that when uh, Nagato is radared, every few minutes by the Moskva, it mustn't back off too far because it means the Totally Balanced and Endon can potentially uh, get shots. And of course, the Des Moines is also covering Battleship Nagato with radar, so there's going to be not constant, but it's going to be pretty frequent, that radar. They do succeed in pushing Todd off the A-cap. That means both teams ticking up a cap. 30-point difference. We're getting close to the halfway mark of the game. No clear advantage, although I will say, for the moment... Um, oh boy, seems to be trading better. Marcelo's, uh, Mar Marceau, not worth standing. Uh, Azuki taking two torpedoes there from Endon's yep. gearing. Um, having to damage control, so Des Moines now just waiting for that DCP to come down to try to get a fire. Uh, no fire will be possible until that DCP has run. Oh. Should be down any second now. Whale Biologist just, just getting hammered out here. I'm not sure if he's radared or what, but he's down to 2k. 
think maybe he got caught by Stalingrad radar. Yep, really. And here comes Hattie. Pushing forwards to get that shot. Yep. Gets him. They do bag they do bag whale biologist as they're <laughs> gonna put they're gonna push Hattie into the B cap. Well, isn't this familiar? So Hattie yeah, pushing like through. This game before. <laughs> Hattie pushing through, aiming at what was Lulu, what is now totally balanced uh, in the Des Moines. So, um, yeah, that, that's uh, not a set of guns that you want pointing at you if you're a Des Moines, that's for sure. Marcelo still on 1500 back there, unable Just... to contest the B cap now. Yep, lurking in the back. Oh boy, up a ship. Both teams working a cap, but. That early kill gives Oboy oh a noteworthy health advantage. Todd trying to sneak back into the back of the top of A under now Pod Nike's radar from Moskva. Gonna give up some more HP for for just for just for getting caught out here, basically. Yeah, these teams very much use the destroyers' health pools as resources. Um, you are expected as a destroyer to be taking damage. You just try to try to take as little as possible in exchange. Amazingly. Yeah. Over at the C cap, Endern is the one who looks like he might finally bag the cap on behalf of Oboy. They've done such a brilliant job of neutralizing Nagato. There goes the Moscow radar. That's uh, that's Azuki putting up his radar as Nagato steps onto the cap to block it. And here come here comes the shells. Yeah, and I think Oh boy, sorry, uh, Bonk's really, really suffering from here from having only one radar on the cap compared to the two yeah. that Oh boy have, which is finally enabling them to get Endon into yep. a position to cap. Totally balanced, moved up, and now Nagato definitely firmly radared in there. He's got to snuggle up to this island nice and close and just hope it's enough cover. Endon trying to lob that island but not able to get the shells tight enough uh, to actually be able to hit the gearing. Gearing, smoking, oh. in preparation for reversing back into the cap. Oh boy, looking really good stats. It's 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 hard to find a place where you can look at Bonks and say, "Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna pick this one up," or they've got an advantage there. They just seem to be kind of on the back foot across the board. They're gonna lose they, Todd. There he goes. Yep, that's gonna give them a, that's and those points are huge. gonna keep ticking. Yep, that's huge. That gives them a two ship lead. Now both teams ticking up a cap, but it's a 200-point lead here for Oh Boy with seven minutes to play. That's the thing. If you have one cap each and you've, there's no way that either team can get into that opposing cap, the team with the points advantage uh, is it has a massive advantage because, of course, right. clawing that back is going to be very, very difficult. And it doesn't look like C is going to go to either team until one of these destroyers goes down, basically. They've now, they've now pushed Azuki's Moskva mm. up into the cap. I think what they're trying to do is Azuki is able to get some cap points on the board, which will enable Nagato to reverse back in once it's done a bit of a... a, a oh, actually, no. Nagato getting hit now. He I pulled out back. too far. Yeah, and can't actually straighten out because the, the rear end of the ship is fouled on the rocks. Yeah, he can't go out there if he... If, well, he can once the radar drops, but... Yep, I've, I'm currently Man. on the red team view, so you can see what they can see. And uh, Battleship Nagato is definitely still spotted. Endern taking a big hit as Azuki does manage to bag C. That's points that Bonks badly needs. They're still down 200 points. It's it's technically enough for them to win if they don't lose another ship, but I find that questionable. I think so they're going to lose somebody else. After having said that Bonks can't do anything about A, they've actually pushed Turret Bonks, Venezia, into the cap Yep. Uh, in order it's... to uh, flip that. They want to win this match. It's time to get creative. Yeah, and actually that's a pretty safe position because if you look at the positions of the Shikishima, the Moskva, the Republic Ooh. can't touch it. So that Apache Venezia will take getting hammered. The Repub taking a big chunk out of Apache here in the middle of the board. He's probably about to draw a lot of focus fire. He's trying to keep his bow to the Stalingrad, but by doing that, he exposes his starboard flank to the Republic. And that's not good for the security of Turret Bonk's position. Because with Apache gone, that opens up uh, the possibility of maybe Eternal Titan pushing up a little bit, maybe Pod Nike pushing up a little bit, and uh, putting some pressure on Turret Bonk's in the A camp. But currently, all three caps in the green team's hands. There goes Apache. So, points clock, 3 minutes, 10 seconds for a Bonks win. 
but I'm sure this won't be the last we hear of Oh Boy. That seems unlikely. They're going to try and focus Hattie out now. He's very alone here in the middle of the board. Doesn't really have any support. What can he see? I know he can see the Shiki in the Moskva, but that's literally it. He cannot see Marcelo's Marceau. That is just pounding him with fire and HE. Yeah, this is very clever positioning here. The Marceau able to lob that island without being spotted just by just, just keeping the corner of the island in between the two ships. Preserve yep, the health ball, he take goes. Hattie down. Wow. The failure to kill the Marceau is, is absolutely coming back to haunt them now. Again, they own all the caps, but they're upside down four ships. At this point, if you're oh boy, you could probably just do a full court press and, and pull this off. Uh, pink camouflage in a little bit of a risky position against turret bonk here. Turret bonk, ooh, turret bonk takes a bit of a smack from across the map. But SAP out on the Marceau. Nose in. Um, nose in SAP can, can hurt you, but it, I don't know. I mean, he did take a good chunk of his health away. But he's yeah. got... Turret has got two battleships gunning for him. He's got very few places to ride. Yeah. And I should so, say three, because the Stalingrad kind of counts as a battleship, too. Absolutely. And from three red caps, I think we're very shortly going to see three... Uh, sorry, from three green caps, I think we're very shortly going to see three red caps as Oh Boy just walk into all three caps at the same time. Indeed. When you have this much of a firepower advantage, there's no reason not to just push... Only four surviving ships for, for Bonks, and they're quite low. Yeah, Can't really, nothing, nothing to stop it. Nothing that Addy can do. Azuki will push forward into Charlie, um, but will meet the gearing, the Des Moines, and the Mosvar at the same time. Uh, this is the only really even fight on the map right now. 3v3. AP out Say from that, Des Moines. The, the, the Des Moines is about to end Aki, Azuki's game. Yeah, and Battleship Nagato, not enough hit points there to actually have a gunfight. Yep, Azuki goes down as well, and that will clinch there it is. third place for EU and oh boy. Both teams going home with some prize cash, but oh boy going away with the bigger share of it. I think it's uh, 5,000, something like that anyway. Certainly more than beer money, that's for sure. So That's um, very much so. But, uh, but well played to both teams. Um, we've enjoyed watching both these teams go through both of their respective uh, regional tournaments. And uh, we've enjoyed it thoroughly, so thanks to both teams. And we'll now be moving over to the grand finals and a bit of analysis about this runner-up match. Uh, thank you very much, and over back over to uh, Chrysantos.